Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with my second digital diamond game that I've put up on my uh, channel. And we're going to play an exhibition game just like we did uh, the first time. And this is going to be a 1941 game. And for the 1941 game, I'm going to take the 41 White Sox. And uh, I'm going to manage the White Sox. So we're going to take the check mark off of the White Sox. And uh, let me see who we're going to pitch. We're going to pitch... Uh, huh. I guess Bill... I guess we'll go with uh, Bill Dietrich. And... Um, 1941, we're going to play against, not the Yankees. I don't want to take on the Yankees. We're going to go Detroit. Let's go Detroit. And they're going to pitch Benton. And uh, we do want Detroit managed by the computer. So I think I have done that correctly. Um, the DH will not be used for this game because this is a 1941 game. Well, I don't, all right, I, I, well, hopefully they don't use it. I mean, uh, all the computer said was it's determined by the, uh, by the home team, and hopefully it knows that um, there was no DH in 1941. Um, so we're going to go over the lineup. Um, I'm going to, I'm pretty, I'm going to go with the White Sox lineup in the, in the computer the way it is. And that's going to be Mike Tresh leading off, um, or Mike Tresh at catcher. Well, no, I guess that is the lineup. Yeah, that is the lineup. All right. So Mike Tresh at catcher leading off, um, Don, Don Colloway, um, at first base batting second, Luke Appling, the shortstop batting third. Bill Knickerbocker at second base, Larry Rosenthal in right field, batting fifth, batting sixth, it'll be Dario Lod Lodgiani, Lod Lod Lodigiani, I never heard of that guy, center field, you batting seventh, you've got Mike Krivich, um, batting in the eighth spot, you've got Dave Short, and then Bill Dietrich, the pitcher, batting last. So, uh, that will be the lineup. And, yeah, let's play some baseball. And we're getting ready here. So, uh, we are the uh, visiting team. And we're going to swing away. Yeah, all right, so we are, and that's a low number, looks like he's going to be out, and then Callaway is up, and that's two down, and that brings up Luke Appling. And Luke Appling is out. So we're going to the bottom of the first inning. Detroit is up and they are going to, their lineup is going to be Charlie Garinger leading off. And then uh, York batting second. Um, what is that? McCary? Jeez, my eyes. McCoskey, maybe McCoskey batting third, Higgins batting in the fourth spot, then Hank Greenberg, then Campbell, then Tebbets, then uh, Croucher, and then Benton the pitcher. So we're going to pitch, and uh, that's going to be a big, that looks like it's going to be a big hit. And it is. It's a triple. So there's a man on third with no outs in York up. Rudy York, I guess. 
And he's going to get a big hit, too. So they knock in a run, and Detroit is ahead one nothing. McCoskey is uh, up at the plate. Man, man, we're getting some bad rolls here <laughs> against us. And uh, York is now, so now York is at second base, and there is one out. Higgins is up. And Higgins looks like he's going to definitely be out. So there's two down, and that brings up uh, Greenberg. Not who you want to see in this situation. Man at second. And you don't want to... Well, all right, all right. That's, yeah, that's an out. So he struck, he struck out. So we're going to the uh, top of the second with Detroit ahead one nothing. And Knickerbocker is the batter. And it looks like he's going to be out, and he is. And that brings up Rosenthal. And Rosenthal looks like he might get a hit, and he does. He's got a single. So there's a man on with one out, and Ladagani, Ladagiani, I don't know. And he's going to walk. So there's two men on now with, with only one out for Chicago, and Krivich is the batter. 232 hitter. And he's going to be out. So there's two down. And that brings up short. And you got to think almost anything is going to be out for him. Because he's not a good hitter. So Chicago is retired quickly there. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. And uh, Campbell. Campbell is the uh, batter for Detroit. And he is going to be out. And uh, the next batter, Tabitz. And he's out. So there's two down quickly. And that brings up Croucher. And Croucher's going to be out. So we're going to the top of the third inning with Detroit ahead 1-0 here. 1941 Detroit Tigers leading the 1941 White Sox. And uh, we have Dietrich the pitcher batting. And uh, he's going to be out. That brings up Trash. 251 hitter. And he's out. Two down quickly for us, and Callaway is the batter. And he's going to be out, and uh, Detroit will be back um, at the plate, and we're back in the field. So we're going to be pitching to. Um, their pitcher, Benton, who is leading off here in the bottom of the third. And looks like he's out. One away and the um, top of the order now. Charlie Geringer hitting for Detroit. And that looks like it's going to be an out. Yeah, two down. Two down quickly, and York, Rudy York, is the batter. And he's out. So, close game here. It's one It's uh, one nothing Detroit. And, uh, 
and the uh, White Sox are up in the top of the fourth inning. I wish we could say that the good part of the lineup was coming up, but there is no good part of this lineup. However, Appling does get a single. So we got a man aboard with no outs and Knickerbocker up. And he's going to he's gonna be out. That was a pretty high roll to be an out. So one down, man at first, and Rosenthal is up. And you, well, no, nah, he rolled himself right out of that. So there's two down. And the batter is Lagiani. Always want to stay on the 900 somethings, but it never does. So uh, we're eliminated there, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still a good game. It's one nothing, but uh, we can't get anything going um, against their their pitcher. And there is one down, although um, to be honest, Dietrich is pitching pretty well for us. Looks like that's going to be a single to center field. So they do have enough. They've got another man on and Greenberg up. Greenberg up with Higgins at first. And that's going to be another base hit. And two runners are on. Runners at first and second. One away. And Campbell up. And that should be an out, and it is. It's an out to center field. So there's two down, two runners on. Big situation here, and Tebbets is the batter for Detroit. And it looks like he's going to be out. So we proceed to the top of the fifth. Down by a run. It's still only one nothing Detroit. Very good game here. And uh, Krivich is the batter for Chicago. And that's going to be an out. Short is the batter. And he's out. There's two down quickly. And Dietrich, the pitcher, is at the plate with two down and nobody on. And it looks like he's going to be out, too. So we go back to the uh, field. Down again still by a run. one nothing. bottom of the fifth. Detroit batting with uh, Croucher as the batter for Detroit. Looks like he'll strike out, and he does. There's one down. The pitcher is up for them, Benton. And he's going to strike out. And that brings them back to the top of the order in Charlie Geringer. And he's going to single. So Geringer is aboard with two down. And the batter is Rudy York. And that's going to be an out. So we go to the top of the sixth. Still a very good one nothing game. 19, maybe a typical 1941 game, you might want to say about it. So Trash is up. He's out. And that brings Callaway to the plate. And Callaway is going to fly out to left field. So there's two down. And Appling, Luke Appling, the only guy that's doing anything for us. And the only really good player here. And, but he's out. He flies out to center field. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's one nothing Detroit. Very close game. Razor thin margin here. And uh, their first batter is McCoskey, and he's going to single. 
So McCoskey's aboard with no outs, and Higgins is the batter. And he is out. There's one down, and that was a double play, looks like. So, no, wait, no, it couldn't have. What, what happened there? How is that an out when there was a man on? All right, anyway, Greenberg is up. Oh, they got a run. How did they get a run on an out? I, yeah. They did. So, you know, I'm. it's not a mistake I made if it was a mistake. And you know, it's the computer saying that that's what happened. So. I don't know. It was a two. It was a two, two, two. I think. I don't know what that if that means anything special. So, anyway, um, they do have another run though. So, Detroit is ahead, and we are batting here in the top of the seventh, and we're down two nothing. So leave it in. Leave the comment below because I didn't see what happened and. Uh, all I know is it looked like it was 222 and it turned purple. So I don't know what that means. Again, I don't have a lot of experience with this game. So um, we do get a single, though. We got Rosenthal aboard. So Rosenthal's on with one down. And uh, Lodge Gianni is up. And he is going to be on by an error, maybe? Yep, Aaron Geringer. So we got two aboard with only one out, and Krivich is up. And that's going to be an out. So that's an out to left field with Short as the batter. He is the left fielder. And he's out. So Detroit is batting here in the bottom of the seventh. Still a good game. Do nothing. And that looks like it's going to be the first out. Tabitz is out. And uh, Croucher is up for Detroit. And that's going to be a walk. So Croucher walks. And um, Benton, the pitcher, is up unless they pinch hit for him. They're not going to. And it looks like he'll strike out. Oh, no, he, was, he bunted. So he bunted the man over to second. There's two down with Geringer up. And Croucher at second. And it looks like that's going to be a walk. So there's two on with two down and Rudy York the batter. And it looks like it's going to be another walk. So the bases are loaded. We have uh, Dietrich loading the bases here. With McCoskey up, but there's two down. If he can just get out of this inning. And it looks like maybe he will. And he does. And now Dietrich is the batter. Um, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not that familiar with the 41 White Sox. I'm not going to pinch hit for Dietrich. He's pitching, in fact, he's pitching really well. Um, it's up to the, in my opinion, it's up to the rest of the lineup to get the runs that he needs. So there's one down and Trash is the batter. And that's going to be a single. So Trash is aboard with one down. And we have the uh, second hitter, Callaway, is up. And man, for a minute, it looked like we might have something, but it turned out to be an out. There's two down. And Appling up. Appling at the plate with a man at first. And that is good. Um, would you like to attempt an extra base? No. 
I mean, we're down by two. Maybe if I was down by only one, I would have risked it. But I didn't think it was worth it there. So Knickerbocker is the batter with two on and two out. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Dietrich goes back to the mound here in the bottom of the eighth. We're still only losing 2 nothing. They have six hits. We have four. And uh, they've made an error, and we haven't made one. There's one down, and Dietrich is dealing to Greenberg. And it looks like that's going to be an out. Callaway makes the play. There's two down and Campbell up. And it looks like that's going to be in the out range. It is a fly ball to right field. So we're at the plate. We had, we're here in the top of the ninth. We've got to get two runs to tie the game and keep playing some extra base or to at least go to the bottom of the ninth and then ho hopefully stop them. But here's Rosenthal. And that's going to be one down. That brings up Lagiani. And it looks like he's going to strike out, which brings up Krivich. And Krivich is going to be out, and it looks like that's it, folks. It's 2 nothing, and that is how our game ends. Detroit wins it uh, 2 nothing. Let's see here. Box score. So here's the box score for the game. Really good game here between the 41 Tigers and the 41 um, White Sox. 2 nothing. Final score. They had six hits. We had four. Dietrich pitched eight. He gave up six hits and two earned runs. And um, Benton pitched nine and gave up four hits, two walks, and no runs. And so that is your final here. Detroit two, the White Sox nothing. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.